Hi, I am Mina, and today I will share our project AVScript, a system that supports accessible video editing with audiovisual scripts. This work is a collaboration with Saline, Yihao, Anthony, Youngho, and Amy. Part of this work was done as an internship project at Neighbor AI, UCLA, and UT Austin. To make an engaging video, we edit the video footage to remove unnecessary or low quality shots. For instance, creators edit their video to remove blurry footage or remove long pauses in their speech and speed up repetitive actions. After this, I'm going to rotate the carrots 90 degrees to complete the small dice cut. There are many creators with visual impairments who want to author videos However, video editing remains inaccessible. To understand the current practices and challenges, we conducted a two-stage format of study. First, we analyzed 24 YouTube videos by creators with visual impairments to understand their video editing processes. We also interviewed eight video creators with visual impairments who have video editing experiences. From both studies, we distilled the following challenges. First, it is hard to understand the content of the video, such as setting and actions. In this example, it is hard to find when she's turning around and walking toward the camera because there's no distinct audio. Second, it is hard to assess the quality of the video. The lighting can be too bright or too dark, or the footage might be blurry. Here, the camera is shaking a lot, but it is hard to notice these errors. Also, it is hard to access the traditional video editing systems with the screen reader, especially with the nested tool menus. Item properties, check key, source properties, control plus group sub menu G. Take sub menu A. Comp sub menu. Item and take color sub menu Y. Unsafe project properties. Also, it is difficult to browse and skim the video without access to the visual thumbnails. Three, three minutes. Next frame. Play button. Pause. Next six slider. Three minutes. Three, three minutes. Three, three, two minutes. Two, two minutes. Two, next frame. Pause button. Finally, it is difficult to perform visual edits, such as color correction or adjusting lightings. So creators with visual impairments often ask help for this type of edits. All of these challenges make non-visual video editing inefficient, making it hard for video creators with visual impairments to try different filming styles or to become independent. We present AVScript, a system that supports accessible video editing with audiovisual scripts. With AVScript, users can review the scenes and identify errors, easily navigate to different parts of the video, and make edits on the audiovisual script. AVScript generates audiovisual scripts from the original footage. Let me describe how its pipeline works. First, from the audio of the footage, AVScript transcribes and aligns the speech to create the transcript. Then, using PTFA algorithm, we align the transcript with the audio in word level. As a result, time-aligned transcript is created. You can see that pauses longer than 3 seconds are also marked in the transcript. Next, AVScript also segments the footage into multiple scenes. From the transcript, we first extract the noun phrases using part of speech tagger. Then, from the frames captured in 60 frame rate per second, we detect objects using the noun phrases as the custom vocabulary. By only detecting the objects mentioned in the narration, we limit our object detection to objects that are likely to be important. Then, using the object detection results, we segment the videos into higher level scenes by using a sliding window. We compare the similar objects in the two frames before and two frames after a potential boundary for segmentation. 
Finally, to create the label of the scene, we use the caption of the first non-blurry frame of each scene using a blip. As a result, scene labels are added to the audiovisual script. Users can navigate between these headings using H key with the screen reader. We evaluated our scene segmentation algorithm with two sample videos filmed by a creator with visual impairment. Here, we compared our predicted scene boundaries to the one created by two coders. The person similarities were comparable between the two coders, AV script and the coder A's boundaries, and between AV script and coder B's boundaries. From the footage, AV script also detects visual errors and camera moving. Here is how. First, we use the object detection results again if there are frequent changes in the object set over time. This commonly happens between the scene labels. Next, to detect bed lighting, we classify the frame as dark if the mean pixel luminance value falls below an empirically set threshold of 0 0.25. To detect blurry frames, we use the modified Laplacian method. After converting each frame to grayscale, we classify the frame as blurry if the focus score falls below an empirically set threshold of 5. As a result, AV script surfaces different types of errors in the script. To evaluate our visual error detection method, we create a set of ground truth errors based on the existing video editing guidelines. When we compare the results of AV script on two sample videos, AV script shows 100% precision for the first video and 87 for the second video. For recall scores, AV script got around 40 to 50% for both videos. One reason for the high precision and low recall is that we set the threshold of AV script's pipeline low to avoid false notification of errors or presenting users with too many error suggestions. We evaluated AV script with 12 video creators with visual impairments, where they edited two videos filmed by a creator with visual impairment, one using AV script and one using their own editing tool. Compared to the editing tool that they're already familiar with, participants using AV script reported significantly lower mental demand, temporal demand, and efforts required in video editing. They also mentioned that they will be more independent in reviewing the output and that AV script is useful to identify errors, which will make them more confident in the final edited video. This is a summary of the number of edits made in the final video. The edits made are visualized in the timeline. We can see that AV script users made more granular edits even with the later half of the video when compared to the condition where they use their own tools. We also conducted an exploratory study with three video creators. Here, creators edited the videos that they filmed themselves. Participants mentioned that AV script is easy to learn compared to other video editing softwares. They also mentioned that AV script will empower them to create new types of videos with more diverse content and styles. While AV script supported deleting or speeding up video segments, in the future, we will explore visual edits such as composing intro slides or adding color corrections. We will also support other stages of video productions than editing, such as planning or filming the video. Finally, we will explore multimodal approaches for editing videos by combining a screen reader and voice input together. With that, I'd like to end my talk and I want to thank my awesome collaborators and study participants. For more information, please check our paper. Thank you.